Sharon Danley here with another Two Minute Tips. And this week it's about keeping your skin in good shape with a good sunscreen and your dual finish powder mineral makeup. First, a nice clean skin. I like the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer because it applies easily, it wears well, it's light, and it doesn't interfere with makeup, yet you still get good protection. First, I apply it everywhere. And next, of course, when that's had a little bit of time to absorb like it would with your moisturizer, I apply the foundation. My favorite is Burrell Dual Finish Mineral Powder Foundation. And I put it on with a sponge and tend to push it in or use a stipple motion rather than a drag motion. I find that that works better. And of course, I use the same foundation, two shades lighter for highlight and brightening my eyes, and two shades darker for contour under my chin and along the side of my nose. And then I go in with a detailed brush later and fill in any spots that I may have missed. And finally, I add my blush and blend and Voila, it's all together. Hi, I'm back and it's about seven hours after I put my makeup on this morning with the Neutrogena 60 Sunblock. I haven't touched up as yet and I need to, but just a very little. And I want you to just take a good close look. It holds up pretty well, doesn't it? My skin doesn't look oily or greasy. It, but it, it's, it's got a kind of a soft glow to it. And I'm gonna do just a quick little touch up for you now, just to show you. All that I'm going to do is, I need to use my, my handy dandy old but trusty mirror. I'm going down the center of my face, around my nose, the sides of my mouth and my chin, and take my little detailed brush and go into the corners of my eyes just a wee bit just to brighten them up because that's where you know if we tear up or anything like that uh, that's where we need to bring that back next a little bit more of the gel liner I'm using the which one am I using the one that you get in Canada Annabelle that's right so just put a little bit more on top of the upper waterline that's all I'm going to do except my lipstick which needs a little bit of touch up I can put some more red on or I can just add the 150 that I I had earlier just to freshen it up a little bit more. Because that's dry, I only put on a very thin coat. That's it, voila, 60 sunblock with the dual finish powder over top. Unless you're on the golf course and you're out in the sun constantly or you're fishing or doing something else like that where you're out constantly, you don't, in my opinion, you don't need to keep putting on, putting on, and putting on. You've got good protection, and you still look good. You don't look like a grease slick. It's very easy, and the end result, I think, is worth it. So. Oh, and Color Science is a favored mineral powder sunscreen applied over your makeup, which I've not test driven, as frankly, I'm quite happy with my approach and the results that I get. Remember, the best protection for sun damage is to stay out of it, wear protective clothing, and walk on the shady side of the street. We'll see you next time.